What happened? So we just got a response. This time they are ready. They've actually put in over $100,000 in upgrades. We did see one thing that created a problem. Did you see the outside honey that you were concerned about? Oh yeah, she has a question. When she first saw the pictures online, it looked like some discoloration. Today we're here for a home inspection for my clients, Veronica and Rod, and their little puppy Sparkle. Um, I sold them a house nine years ago, and today they're purchasing an investment property. There's some plumbing next to it that's connected, and it's just got a small steady drip. I can show you. Yes. Yeah. The most important part of the inspection is giving you peace of mind and giving you a lot of info about the home. You know, if there was something major that would need to be replaced, we go through all the components in the home, major systems, HVAC, structural, roofing, plumbing, electrical. We can kind of instruct you in the right way to go. Inspections are optional, but it'll give you peace of mind. Pretty long laundry list of items that needed to be repaired. Nothing major. Couple concerns. It was a, a cracked uh, truss up in the attic that needed to be repaired, which is a, actually a pretty simple fix. Although we do leave that up to the professionals. So during the inspection, the inspector called out a number of items that needed to be addressed or repaired. The seller agreed to repair them, and now we're here at the reinspection. It's just really important whenever you have representation. I always highly recommend doing a reinspection. We're not the inspectors, we're not the professionals on that side. We're the professionals on the real estate transaction side. So whenever that reinspection is required, I always recommend using the same inspection company to make sure that everything is done properly. So today, uh, the h and &E team is with Nevada Partnership for Homeless Youth. Every Friday, they do something called Feel Good Friday. Uh, we are participating this Friday. We have a bunch of uh, the community coming out where we're gonna be handing out toiletries to the kids, notebooks, and some basic school supplies. Super fortunate to be uh, a part of this nonprofit. Super grateful to be a part of the board. And if you guys are looking for a place where you can give back, whether it's financially, or you wanna bring product, or just wanna donate your time, it would be greatly appreciated if you check out Nevada Partnership for Homeless Youth. Really excited about this listing. This is actually the second time this home will go on the market. The first time they had some life changes. Uh, decided not to put it on the market, uh, but this time they are ready. They've actually put in over $100,000 in upgrades. The home looks amazing. Uh, th this is not a flip. This is pride of ownership, quality products, uh, and the, the, the home speaks for itself. So your initial here, this is going to allow us to uh, just disclose it if we have multiple offers in a multiple, multiple offer situation. So we'll initial there. Any leased uh, solar system, alarm system, anything? Okay. So then just initial down here.
we're gonna turn everything on and make sure it's working. So microwave's working. We'll turn on all of these. This is electric. All right. And then, oh, don't touch, don't touch, it's oh. hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Okay, this one we gotta oh, turn on. This is the game, the stuff. <laughs> The importance of a walkthrough is basically trying to make sure that the condition of the home hasn't changed from the time that they first walked in here and making sure that the terms of the contract are met, such as the appliances were included in this home. We just want to make sure that they didn't swap any of the appliances, that no other windows were broken, there's no graffiti, nobody had broken in. And we did uh, see one thing that kind of created a problem. Let's go clean washer. Oh, oh. Maybe we have to turn those on. Oh, it's not turning. That's hot. Ah! Oh, oh, turn it off. So it's not connected, right? Yeah, it's not connected. I think the hose is not connected. Oh, boy. I guess it's probably not been tested. This dryer is working. We did encounter the washing machine not being connected correctly, and so that is one of the things that we have to contact the listing agent about and make sure that they get that connected and we can test it out that it's, it's working well. So it is very important that everybody, our buyer and their agent, has to do a walkthrough one to three days prior to closing just to make sure that it's in an acceptable condition. Hey guys, Matt Jemerson back here at 2176 Denarvik. Last time we were here, we were signing listing paperwork and taking photography. Um, today we are already in contract. We had multiple offers in less than three days, but our biggest concern was the appraisal. We priced about $50,000 above comps. That actually also came in at value. The house sold just under $500,000 and now the sellers are waiting for their new home to be built. I sold Veronica and Rod their home back in 2010. A couple weeks ago, they reached out to me to buy an investment property. While we were out looking, not only did they find an investment property, but they fell in love with a home for them to move into. And we decided to write an offer on that home. So what we thought was going to be one transaction may potentially turn into three. What happened? So we just got a response and they accepted the 333. <laughs> For some reason, I knew exactly what was gonna happen. Really? <laughs> oh my God. I have no idea. We, we pushed it through. They said it was good for Friday. Um, she said she totally understands if you know you want to cancel. I, I really don't want another house. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give Craig a call and then I'll, I'll give you a call back. Oh man, she's bawling. 